name is Will Reynolds, and what I'm going to have is our long exposure demo. And let's just talk a bit about our shutter speed. So, just we have to talk about basic image of how our shutter is going to work. We have our light that can come in from any direction, goes through our camera. Basically, different from iPhone cameras. iPhone cameras, you just click, done, end the deal. We have more of a normal camera that when you grab it, you obviously, if you look, you zoom, fix, but when you click it to open it, you have this little panel, just like I have in my presentation, that will just open and close. Shutter off, shutter on. And when, when the shutter's on, it allows the light to go through your detector, thus creating your image you want. And there's a lot that we could do with it. So basically, we have our shutter speed mainly, we're near like a thousandth of a second. Just, that's, that's I probably as quick as this or even faster, honestly. But with that, you can capture like slow-mo shots, shots in the moment, like the balloon popping with the dart, like even with our normal eye, it's just boom, gone. When we get to the middle end, you can kind of see some people running. There's some motion blur due to, you know, they're running different speeds. The camera can only capture so much from how, they're, how fast they're going. And then when we go to more of the long exposure, like half a second, but honestly, like eight seconds, to be honest, is long exposure. So we have in the image, most likely a car or a bus zooming by, but the light trails were left behind. And it's a fun little, like, exploit you can play with. But a better representation is this slide here of a fan spinning. Like, I can be rotating this real quick, but like, you know, I could slow down and you can see it better. But the camera follows different rules. So for like one eighth, it might, it just sees like this blur. If it was one fifteenth, maybe it sees myself spinning this a little slower. One twentieth, one, one hundred and twenty-five. Maybe 125, maybe like right, I'm holding it here is like one, like 500. Like you can see the fan. And then it gets sharper and sharper and sharper. Um, in that case, you would need more and more light to represent your image. Um, so a fun example I like is this helicopter here. And basically what you're going to see is when your shutter speed of your camera is matching the rotation of this. So if I was spinning it and that camera was matching the rotations of the my spinning lanyard here, you could see just like probably the lanyard at the same spot because one rotation, like say one second, one second again, but it, you can only like look at it every one second. So it'd be like one, like you'll see that. So right here. Okay. You slowly rotate. Right. Once it gets out of frame, it's a little bit quicker. So that's when you have a high, like, if you got a quick, like, snap, 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 you can get your shutter. And now we get to more on the long exposure stuff, which is personally my favorite. Of like, we can just talk about the first image. Honestly, I'm gonna walk over here. Basically, the first image you'll kind of see is you see a bunch of people moving, like movement. There's some people standing still. Anyone who's moving a long exposure is gonna look blurred. Like, I'm just shaking my hand right now. My hand's blurred. Right, even the camera has issues capturing that. But when I'm standing still, you can see me clearly. My right hand, really blurred, you can have issues seeing it. My left hand, not moving, perfectly fine. And then when we move a little bit more over here, you are utilizing, you want that blur. You see these cameras zooming by, their lights, you don't even see the car. Just like the people, they're, they're there but not there. But here you can barely see the cars from the low lighting. You just see the lights. You just see like the little back trail. We will look back at where long exposure gets a little fun. A little demo I have is basically the glow, a glow stick demo. And, you know, you can use one of three glow sticks. It, depending, obviously, you'll need one string, one tape for glow stick, or I have an exception here of a lanyard and a, one of the glow sticks with a little hook. Basically, what we're going to do, if I can whoop, break our friend here. There we go. Oh, this shows up really well. Right, right there. Basically... When you have the lights off, 
my glow stick. Oh, wow, look, glow stick. When you spin, oh, this is perfect. So that camera has a certain shutter speed right now looking, recording this part. Right now, if I'm looking at this, I can kind of see the whole halo, but that camera, if I spin this, ooh, I can, if I can spin this quick enough, the camera might have issues adjusting. So it's just probably adjusted properly. But for a moment earlier, you could see it spacing out. So it's a limit of like a shutter speed. Yeah, right here. This camera is following a different rule set right here. So every certain, I don't know what the shutter speed is, but every certain amount of seconds, it's capturing it on, off, on, off. I can see this perfectly fine right here. So with your eye, an eye, it's so a good thing you can do if you can have another camera right here. If you had, say, the eye's about 1 50th of a second. It's a little hard because our eyes depicting, you know, mixing the rest, just like that camera. It's depict it's adding like the rest. So basically, what you could do is mix your color with your desired like mix here. You put on a string, do that, you have a camera, take a picture at one fiftieth of a second, which should represent your eye. Like I have you can't really see it with your own eye because like I said, you have the blur, right? You're seeing the blur. And your eyes like, oh, new image, new image, but the blur is there. When I do a long exposure, basically, I, an example I have to show is when I have it with three colors. But I only have one. So usually you would see, you know, the spinning. So this whole halo here should be full if I'm spinning it quick enough, kind of. But long exposure, it's going to capture everything. Like, if I go slow, like, if it's long exposure, it will capture everything. Even if I make an error here, like a, honestly, a figure eight. It would show up like an infinite, like a figure eight. When you mix it, you dab a little in the color mixing. You, you'll kind of see the green with the um, the green with the orange with the purple, all slightly mixing together, and that part makes white. Hopefully, I'm not too dark. Yeah, I like this this end here. With that, that would conclude the presentation with our fun little ghost demo.